my workout I'm starving so I'm going to eat um, and I'm really really excited to eat because more about how the last three days I've been tracking my food a little bit more and increasing my calories especially my carbs the proteins have stayed the same because my program suggests that if you see a plateau of results or you're not seeing the progress that you anticipate it could be because you're under eating I believe that's where I was at not necessarily under eating in the sense that I'm depriving myself of food and I'm really restrictive that wasn't the case it just wasn't enough food um, for the workouts that I was doing and the results I want to see because I want to build muscle so that means more food I love it um, so I am going to have an omelet with broccoli which will be two eggs which equals a red container in my meal plan a green container full of broccoli that'll be my omelet um, and then I will also have oatmeal, which is a yellow container, an apple, which is a purple container, and a spoonful of peanut butter, because girlfriend loves the peanut butter, and I get four of those a day on this meal plan. I love it. Teeny bit of yogurt and cinnamon. I don't really count the yogurt in containers just because it's literally so lit. So I'll keep you guys updated as I move throughout, and guys, just don't be afraid to try things out for me. I'm trying to be a guinea pig on myself. If it's not working, if I'm not seeing the muscle tone or the muscle gains, like I don't want to be big, but I'd like to see the hard work pay off in my muscles. And part of that directly is linked to our nutrition. Whole life I've been afraid of food mostly because there's this mindset in the health and fitness industry that you have to eat little to see results and you have to eat like 1200 calories to lose weight and to be thin and tiny and, and fit and all this stuff. But the reality is what I'm learning to increase my calories to see results, to not be afraid to eat more carbs um, when my whole life I've been told to stay away from carbs. So only on day three of increasing my calories, I am eating a lot. Like I genuinely feel like I'm not hungry when I'm ready to eat, but I'm super excited just to see if there's any change. All of our bodies respond differently to different stuff. Um, and if you've been following the same thing for a while, you're probably going to plateau because your body has become comfortable with that um, and who doesn't want to increase their calories and eat more food that's what I'm talking about all right I'll keep you guys updated I'll show you the finished product 
And I forgot that I'm going to be adding in my Shakeology vegan, chocolate vegan, um, because one, it gives me a lot of energy so it helps me recover better from my workouts. Uh, two, because it definitely helps me um, with my sugar cravings, which what girl doesn't want to take care of those? Am I right? Am I right? Um, so I'll be having that with, usually I mix it with coconut water, cold coconut water, because our blender is broken right now. Food. Oatmeal. Omelette. One red, one green, one yellow, one purple, one spoon. 